I'm Erin Kitzmiller and I'm the Henry County YPA and today we're going to do a ice heat pack sewing project. We're going to make a bag and then we're going to make a cover for the bag so that you can make wash this if you want to. The materials that you'll need for this project is scrap fabric, a ruler, scissors, sewing machine and thread, and iron and iron board. Okay, we're gonna start off by making our inner bag. And to make the inner bag, we're going to want to have a 10 and a half inch by 10 inch rectangle. So we're gonna take our scrap, we're gonna take our scrap fabric And we're gonna take our ruler and cut out a 10 and a half by 10 rectangle. So we're going to measure 10 inches out from the edge of your fabric to here. And we're going to cut, measure and cut 10 and a half inches this way. we have our 10 and a half by 10 inch rectangle. We're going to take this and we're going to fold it in half and use the side that is 10 and a half inches to fold in half so you still have 10 inches across the top. take our rectangle and we're going to fold the top of it so the 10 inch side down about a quarter inch and fold it then we're going to take it and iron it so it stays okay so we're going to iron the quarter of an inch fold and 
And then we're going to fold it another quarter of an inch. And we're going to take an iron and fold, iron that fold. So it'll look like this with the little fold at the top. Now with that fold at the top, we're going to take it and fold it in half, keeping the folded part on the outside. I'm just going to line up the edges of our fabric. Once our edges are lined up, we're going to take a few pins and we're just going to pin the fabric in place so it's a little easier to handle when we're sewing. We don't need a lot of pins, just a couple. Then we're going to sew a quarter of an inch in seam starting at this corner with the split and go down here and then we'll sew down over to here. So with my sewing machine threaded, I'm just going to Put it in a quarter of an inch again. Put my foot down on my pedal on my sewing machine. Insert the needle. And then just slowly. And then I'm gonna do a little back stitch just to ensure it stays. Removing the pins as I sew. We're going to sew to the corner with our needle in the corner, lift up our foot and pivot with still about a quarter of an inch seam, put our foot back down and sew to the other side. Again, I'm going to back stitch. And finish it off. After you've sewn it and you've cut it, we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut the corner just a straight edge. And this just kind of helps it, the corners lay it down when we're getting ready to flip it inside out. So then you're going to take your bag and just kind of scrunch it up and flip it inside out and pull it out. And then you're going to want to go down to the corners and use your finger 
with a knot and punch out those corners real good. And then we're going to go iron it just so that it lays down all the seams real well. Once we've ironed up the seams, we're, we're going to fill our bag and we can either use field corn or feed corn, don't use popcorn, or you can use rice, either one. I'm going to use corn because I like the smell of it better when you put it in the microwave to warm it up. So you're going to use two cups of corn or two cups of rice. So after we've got it filled with our corn and our rice, we're going to pin it down here so that when we sew it, the corn doesn't fall down and get in our way. So just take a few pins and pin a line across next to the corn. Kind of looks like that. And then you're going to want to match up your folded edges. And then we're going to sew along that folded edge. So if you're having a little trouble with your bag hanging over your sewing machine and pulling it, I just set a box or something to hold it there to make it a little easier. And again, just line up your folded edge and place your foot down on your needle and sew. On that folded edge. And I'm going to back stitch again. And at the end, I'm going to back stitch one more time. Trim our threads from the sewing machine and take the pins out and put them back in your pin cushion. And then your corn can flow freely from side to side. Okay, we're going to set the outer bag now. We want to cut two different pieces. One's going to be a little longer than the other. So our first piece is going to be 13 inches by five and three quarters of an inch. And then our second piece is going to be 11 inches by five and three quarters inch. So I took my fabric and I already cut an 11 and a half inches. Uh, this way and I'm going to take it and cut 
13 inches to start this way. Now I'm going to measure five and three quarters, which should be a half of my 11 and a half. So after we have, we're going to take the tops of both corners, or both edges, and we're going to fold them down a quarter of an inch, and then we're going to go iron them again. Iron the edge down so it'll stay. And we're only going to do it once on this each side of this fabric and then we're going to take the other side and make that fourth of a inch fold and then iron to put the right side so the pattern sides of your fabric together and you're going to want to align it at the bottom of your bag so the bag that isn't folded and you want to align your fabric corners and edges and then we're going to pin it Okay, once you have that pin, you're going to come up to the top of it and the edge that is longer, we're going to fold it over to where the fold crease matches the other top of your other piece of fabric. 
And then we're going to pin that down, pin that down. So it stays in place so we can sew it. When you're getting ready to pin this, make sure that you're pinning the t longer piece on top. So after we get it all pinned together, we're going to start sewing. Again, you're going to want to use a quarter inch seam. Start at the top of it where the opening would be in the corner. Put your foot down, then your needle down, and then sew a little. Again, I'm going to do a back stitch. And then I'm just going to continue to sew. Again, when you pull your pins out before they go in the machine, put them in your push pin. Push it. To another corner so we're going to keep the needle in our thread put our foot up and then pivot put our foot back down and then continue to sew again with that quarter inch seam To another corner again keep your needle down lift up your foot pivot put your foot back down Okay, when you get to this end, make sure that your little flap doesn't get pinched up. So I'm gonna just lift the foot and kinda put it under the foot so it won't do that. Do one last back stitch and then pull it off and trim your threads. We're going to again take our scissors and just cut a straight edge on our corners to help lay it down like we did with the inner bag. And then we're going to flip it again inside out. And again, we're going to use our finger or if you want to use a spoon or something to poke your corners out real good. 
And after we have our bag, we're going to go iron the seams again to lay them down. Iron the seams down. After we got all the seams down, we're going to take our bag and kind of scrunch it up to the corners and put our inner bag in our outer bag. And this little flap that we sewed down and folded over, you're going to take the inner bag and tuck it in there so that it, that it keeps your corn bag in so it won't fall out. And that's the project. You want to microwave this for 30 seconds for up to two minutes. You don't want to overheat it in the microwave or it'll start to soil the corn. Thanks for watching. And I